What's up everybody? Once again, it's Brand Man Sean and this video is brought to you by BrandManNetwork.com because I signed myself. It's the network. Now, a lot of people have asked me, they were like, yo Brand Man, I, I noticed you don't really do consultations like that. Like, do you do consultations anymore? And for the most part, really the answer is no. And now it's at the point where I say, you know what, let me go ahead and explain why I stopped doing music consultations and you can take this from somebody who has done not just like one consultation i'm talking about hours and hours of consultations and i'm talking about from artists who have grammys and hits on the chart currently all the way to bro i just started doing music yesterday i'm serious because what i found is most artists do not need consultations you might think you need a consultation but you don't actually need a consultation so before i even get into some more of that i just want to explain like three problems that I've noticed when it comes to consultations. What's wrong with that model? Number one, a lot of artists don't need just an hour phone call, a two hour phone call. Really, they need to actually get a plan built out for them, right? They're so early on, they need to have clarity around certain things. They need structure that needs to be implemented and they need five or six different checkpoints that they can mark off and then have the next goal and then have the next goal. The problem is, that's not something you're gonna get out of a one hour consultation, right? Somebody, somebody's not gonna be able to get very specific and really learn you enough and then actually build out that plan. Most people who are doing that for people, that's really, you know, closer to a thousand dollars just to be real. Secondly, I mean, this is an artist problem too, but it's definitely one of my problems is having a call and then we have this conversation and then there's just no execution on it. And for me, that's just like, bruh, like, what are we doing? And even if you're somebody who actually executes on the things that are discussed in a call and you do well on that, a lot of people run into problem number three, which is the fact that everything is changing, right? The environment is always changing. Social media is always changing. And even greater than that, as a newer artist, right? We're talking about most of these artists, the newer artists, your environment's changing internally as well. You might have a different brand a month from now because you came out with a different song or you got reached out by this influencer and you're trying to figure out how to make take advantage of that. You got reached out to by a brand and you're trying to take advantage of that. All these things require new information. So for a lot of artists, they're finding themselves do one call, but then even though the call might have went well, after that, the stuff becomes irrelevant just because stuff has changed or they have something else that's been reprioritized or deprioritized that makes this other thing the thing that they should be focused on. And then you might not have enough money to get back on another consultation call. Which actually brings me back to one of the things that I feel like make the most valuable consultations. And it's something that an attorney put me on to a tear. Shout out to you of you out there. But she said, hey man, you know, I don't don't come to me to just ask any kind of question, right? Come to me with problems to solve. And I found that exact same thing to be useful on my side of things. Like the clients I have, they get the best out of it. They're having very specific situations which require specific solutions or ways of going out about things. I'm talking about, yo, Sean, I'm big on the fashion scene. Now I'm specifically trying to leverage this side of things to move into music. Yo, Sean, I'm a stripper and I'm trying to figure out how to move into music. Yo, Sean, I'm already big in this country. Now I'm trying to figure out how to infiltrate this country. Those are all specific scenarios and solutions that start to lead us towards different directions. You have something that you are working with and now we have to figure out how do we take what you're working with and move it into this new thing, a specific thing you want to get going. But the thing is, those calls and those clients are $350 an hour. And that's not something that the average artist can afford, which is understandable. I don't even blame you. I wouldn't even do that. But even at $100, artists are still running into the same of those three problems that I already referenced before because even a hundred dollars is a lot for an upstar artist it just is and you do not need to have an hour-long conversation what you really need is ongoing support and there's a difference because once again the climate will change and this is the value of brandmannetwork.com a lot of artists ask me that's the value of brandmannetwork.com that was inspired by that Instead of $350 for one hour, you can get 16 months, right? For that same price in Brand Man Network, which is pretty much a year and a half of ongoing support outside of just consultations on top of that. Because the truth is, there's probably only two or three questions that you really need to get out right now at any given time. Then you need to go do the work and then you need to get back in to have like another talk and just ask a few questions. You don't need this huge one-on-one -on -one to push yourself through the process because that one-off is gonna quickly become irrelevant. And I've seen 
the actual benefits of that already. There's some artists in Brand Man Network that have had like 10 calls. I've seen them on like 10 calls literally. And now they're going through this. The next call, they're going through this or this call they're just sitting on. Next call. I have a reference from the last things we've talked about and they can ask that one or two question and they keep moving. That's what the process should look more like for an artist in any kind of fashion. As a matter of fact, there was two artists in Brand Man Network that I actually had one-on-one -on -one calls, not because that's what we do in the network, but because there were other people who couldn't make it to the call and you know what happened we only spent about 20 maybe 30 minutes on the call because that was all they needed and now they could confidently just say you know what you know i'm done for the day because they can get on the call another day they already have access not just to me but to multiple people and resources on a weekly basis whereas i've been on consultation calls with people sometimes and you can tell about 15 minutes in they're like dang i don't really have no more questions and i'll be like hey man you paid your money so you know we can sit on the call and we can talk through it but still about by the time it gets about 40 minutes in, that's it. And you could say, well, maybe I'll just do a 20, 30 minute consultation with people, but honestly, that's not worth most people who are doing consultations. Like the, most of those experts, it's just not worth their time. So like, just keep all of those things in mind because I know some people don't get it, but once again, like just my opinion based on like hundreds of hours of consultations. And really for some final thoughts, I'll end it like this. First, if you're still the type of person who wants to do a one-on-one -on -one consultation or you have a moment where you feel like you need to do a one-on-one -on -one consultation, make sure that one of those three things that I just mentioned earlier do not happen to you or for you, however you wanna say that. But a lot of that just comes from taking time beforehand, ensuring that you're coming with very specific scenarios and questions if you can afford that consultation with the person you know that you're trying to get it with. And secondly is if you're interested in ongoing support and access to resources, you should definitely check out brandmagnetwork.com. You can check it out. I have the link in the description below and the top comment pinned, all that good stuff. And yes, I just plugged my own stuff shamelessly. I tell artists to market and brand themselves all the time. Why would I not? If you have a problem talking about your own stuff, either you know it's not worth it, not valuable, or you just don't believe in the impact. Once again, though, as always, this video is brought to you by BrandManNetwork.com because I signed myself. If you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you like it, you might as well share it. And if you're not, subscribe. You know what to do. Hit that subscribe button.